At the Roma's Gourmet Market and Restaurant, they do things differently. They do it the authentic way. Well, you know, I, I remember the day my wife and I were standing over there and uh, we were walking this way and we, we were under demolition and I said that would be a perfect location to put gourmet market and restaurant, you know, uh, and then envisioning the drapery and the, the tables and chairs outside. But you know what? This development lends itself at every angle the right way. It's a beautiful uh, plaza. Uh, there's nothing like it there's anywhere. nothing like it. I mean, nothing it really at isn't. all. And I thought that when you came walking this way, you would be able to see the bar, the restaurant, the market. You kind of see. So this is really a great focal point and something that I always envision us doing a TV show or a commercial standing right here as we are right and now. And here we are doing and it. And here we are doing it. I love it. And that's the beauty of it. Well, you deserve it. Both you and Susie have done just an amazing job. You're an amazing couple. And uh, everybody is talking about you guys. Everybody is talking about, you know, the Romo's gourmet market and restaurant and it's a place to be and thank you for bringing back vitality and life to the, to the promenade. Oh, you know Francis I talked about this before how this whole area just reminds me of being in Italy. It's got that sure. whole look to it. I yeah. mean starting with the fountain and the facade of your building. I mean talk to me about that. Well I wanted to create I mean, the fountain was here, the pavers, the stone. I wanted to create the canopies over each window, get that European look and uh, and the umbrellas and the sidewalk cafes and just having a presence out here before they even got into the market was part of the vision. So when you're driving by, especially at night, I put lights, strategically placed lights over every canopy so that it shined down and it glowed. Uh, and it would just pique their curiosity. What was in there? You know, if they can't read the sign because you blink uh, when you go by and you can miss it. And we're camouflaged by a lot of trees. So I thought aesthetically it was very important to uh, make it eye appealing and have people gravitate in. And that's what we try to do. We even piped music outside the whole cafe <laughs> so that people can sit and have their coffee or dessert or sandwich and feel like they were in, in, uh, in Italy. Well, I think I said at the beginning of the show, we talked about it as an experience. And so by looking at the facade and the outside of what you created, people know they're gonna have an experience when they walk through those doors yes, right there. Yes, very true, very true. But the other thing I must commend you on and I've noticed that every time I come in, um, every single one of your employees is, first of all, very, very friendly. They're very approachable. They know the product, and they're really sincere about helping you. I think yes. that's just an amazing thing. Yes. You know, it's about making the customer happy. So it all starts with a hello, welcome to the Romos. Yes. Uh, what can we help you find? What can we let you taste? Uh, I say you feed them and let them taste it. They might taste something they've never had and fall in love with it and for the rest of their lives they're going to want to have it. Absolutely. And that's what we try to create here. My mom's in the front. She's an incredible cook and baker as well. Um, so we bring that neighborhood family feeling here. You know, um, so it's very important to us to have the customers feel that as well. Well, like I said before, you've done a marvelous job. Thank, Thank you. you, my friend. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank pleasure you. knowing you. Pleasure and meeting you as well. Continue good luck with this incredible okay. market well, thank you. And, and restaurant that you thank have. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless.